Vernon draws first blood in the first half of this Colonial North battle, but Simone marches in, take it in for the goal, and Vernon has a 1-0 lead just two minutes into the game. Vernon looks to make it 2-0 here on this Kate Dolmer blast, but Kittatinny goalie Megan Clements is there for the save for the Cougars. But Daniel Ward of Vernon collects the ground ball off the rebound, and she scores, and Vernon has a 2-0 lead over the Cougars. Vernon takes a 3-0 advantage here. Watch the great look here from Simone Marchesen to Emily Garofalo on the doorstep, and the Vikes are up by three with 18 minutes to go in the first half. The Vikings push their lead to 5-0 here. Watch Daniel Ward with the nice move and the goal, her third of the half, and it's all Vernon out of the gate. Kittatinny gets an opportunity here out of the free position, but watch Vernon goalie Sam Drew with the big save here to deny Callan Smith with the terrific stop and it remains 5-0 Vernon. But Smith does score here a couple of minutes later out of the free position with this rocket, and Kittatinny's on the scoreboard and trails 5-1 with 11 minutes to go in the first half. Danielle Ward continues her big first half here for the Vikings as she scores out of the free position her fifth of the half as the Bloomsburg University commit helps give Vernon a 7-1 lead. Kittatinny gets back on the scoreboard, watch Callan Smith beat Christina Trinati, who makes the dodge and she scores, but Kittatinny's down by five, seven to two. Vernon gets a chance here with no time left on the clock in the first half, but Simone marches in with the rocket, but it's Megan Clemens with another terrific save for Kittatinny, and Vernon has a 7-2 lead at the half. Second half we go, and Mackenzie Alter of Vernon scores her second goal of the half here with this nice spin move, and Vernon has a seven-goal lead, 9-2. Kittatinny puts together a rally, and it's Christina Trinati in the transition, and she goes the whole way and goes to the bounce for her third goal of the game, and Kittatinny's only down by five, 9-4. The Cougars make it a four-goal game here with about five minutes to go as Callan Smith converts from the free position, and Kittatinny's right back in it, down 9-5. But Olivia Volcado of Vernon caps her big game. Watch her take it in, and she dumps it in for the goal as Vernon would go on to post a 10-5 victory at the falling to the Cougars in overtime last year here at Maple Grange Community Park in Vernon. I think we all worked really hard, and we took our shots, and we did really well. We came out really fired up, and we were really ready to beat them. We were really excited and fired from last year. Oh, it felt great. I mean, last year we lost in overtime by one, and this year we came back winning with a decent amount, and it felt good. I think it was really great this year that we came back from last year from losing from one, and we really came out fired up and ready to win the game. We were all ready from last year because we knew we lost by one, and we knew we wanted to really cream them this year, and I think we did really good as a team. It was a good win. Um, we've had a hard time lately with consistency, and we had a, a team meeting and talking about um, how we got to open up games yesterday. And uh, the girls came out ready to play today. They were fired up during the warm-up, and uh, they started the game very, very strong. In the first half, Daniel Ward scored five goals to give Vernon the lead. A couple times their defense like wasn't paying attention, so I was open a lot. So I just, I just saw and I just shot. Ward's having a tremendous season. The other day against Blair Academy, she scored her 100th career goal, only the seventh player in program history to achieve that milestone. I felt really good. I was excited. I felt good because my teammates were like right behind me the whole time cheering me on. It's unbelievable. Um, you know, just being in that class with uh, 100 goal scorers, as you said, there's only been seven in the history of the program. Um, you know, Ken's Alter is going to be uh, closing in on that hopefully this season. Um, and, you know, when you're putting yourself in a sentence with Jess Mills, Leslie Werner, Brittany Ass, Steph Peterson. I mean, we can go down the list. It's, it's unbelievable. It's a great accomplishment. The keys to today's victory for Vernon, there was a couple of them. One, they won all the ground balls. They played great team defense. And the biggest one, in my opinion, Olivia Bolcato winning the draws and getting Vernon the possessions. I've been working on it a lot because I've struggled in the past, so I kept working on it and I guess it worked out well. We've been watching a lot of college games and, and seeing what we've got to do to be successful at draws because it's a possession game. Um, you know, you need possessions to do well. And Liv's really been working on that and wrapping the ball up on draws, and she really dominated with that today. Kittatinny made a nice run to cut Vernon's lead to four, nine to five late in the second half, but Olivia Bolcato of Vernon came up with a big goal. I realized they were all playing like on each of our players, so I thought I'd dodge her and see what happened, and I went right in. Vernon's defense was great today led by senior Quinn Mitchell. The overall team defense, I think we really picked it up a level with talking in our slides, and I know we were looking to jump passes and get interceptions, and we really picked it up a level. 
This is Vernon's first division game in the Colonial North. It gives them a good start in division play. It's a tough division with Pope John and Mount Olive, but the Vikings feel if they play like they played today, they should do pretty well this season. For the rest of the season, I hope we can keep working hard, practicing on the things we need to practice on, and have a great season. I think we're all hoping to get a banner in our gym this year, either division champs or league champions. Our goal is I to make it to states and like really like just win games and do good. It's so big. I think it really sets the tone and I think we're going to get really far in this season and I hope we can really make it to states and I think we can. It's all about discipline and consistency. We came out, played a great first half, um, you know, D scored all our goals in the first half and then Ken started out with two strong goals in the second half. But then after that, we kind of lost our discipline and stopped playing towards our game plan. So if we can find consistency and play with discipline, then, then we'll be in good shape. But Mount Olive is a great team. Um, it's, a, it's a very strong division, so uh, it, it'll be a challenge, and it's the team that's most consistent is the team that's going to rise up to the top.